The Buffalo Bills have been to four Super Bowls and lost four Super Bowls. The Minnesota Vikings have been to four Super Bowls and lost four Super Bowls. The Lions have never been to the Super Bowl. The Ravens won their last Super Bowl in New Orleans. The Packers won a Super Bowl in New Orleans in 1997. Patrick Mahomes is going for a three-peat in New Orleans. And Jalen Hurts is trying to right the Chiefs versus Eagles Super Bowl by getting his first Super Bowl. We know the Eagles have been there multiple times. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are trying to get their seventh championship or Super Bowl in the modern era. So we got various storylines. The NFC North is jam packed with the Lions, the Vikings, and the Packers all having great records. Uh, who do y'all think is going to the Super Bowl in New Orleans? The Bills right now are nine and two. The Chiefs are 11 and one. The Steelers are eight and three. The Ravens are eight and four. And then you have the AFC South where the top team is the Texans at seven and five. In the NFC, you have the Philadelphia Eagles nine and two. You have the Lions 11 and one, the Vikings nine and two, and the Packers nine and three. And then you have the NFC South, which again is a battle of mid midagery. If that's a word, the Falcons are six and five, the Bucks are five and six, and my Saints are four and seven. So this has been one of the most interesting years. I don't want to leave out the Seahawks and the Cardinals either. They're both six and five. The Rams are five and six, and the Niners are five and six. And ironically, everybody in the NFC West is still in contention to win their division. It looks like the two wild card teams might come out of the NFC North, though. So you might see all of those teams in Vikings, Lions and Packers, Jordan Love, uh, the Packers really coming into their own right now. They hot Sam Darnold been Sam Darnold and that Vikings defense. You know, they've been doing a thing, Justin Jefferson. And then you have the Lions, Dan Campbell, one of my favorite coaches, former Saint uh, coaching them boys out there in Detroit. Crazy, crazy rush attack with Gibbs and Montgomery, Jamison Williams, Laporta st brown their defense is nice uh i think they lost one of their uh, linebackers rodriguez they already had lost aiden hutchinson but they saying if um they make the super bowl that he'll be back then you got lamar lamar jackson derrick henry kyle hamilton you know they've been they've been doing their thing right they have you know they got three or four losses but a lot of the you know They've been in these games. Uh, they blew out the Bills, right? And then the Bills went on to beat the Chiefs and get them their first loss. So clearly styles make matchups, right? In boxing, we say styles make fights. Well, the Bills are there. You know, they you know they got Cook and they got Cooper in uh, midway through the season. Their defense is legit. Josh Allen playing great. The Steelers, again, playing good. They beat the Ravens. Uh tough defense you know the Watt brother and you know they got Russell Wilson in there now with uh Najee Harris and Pickens and you know they winning games so you know I don't know that you know don't get confused by my graphic I'm not saying that the Chiefs and the Eagles are going to play in the Super Bowl again that might be a little deja vu right but uh, it is again if they're the top teams they're the top teams with the best record right the Lions have the best record in the NFC right now and the Chiefs have the best uh, record in the AFC they both only lost one game so great phenomenal records they both 11 and 1 I would love to see well I won't get into who I want to see yet but there's storylines for each team like I said the Bills They've been to the bowl four times. Remember the four falls of Buffalo, but they've never actually won. A couple of these teams have won during. Uh, don't confuse the NFL championship with the Super Bowl, right? The Super Bowl came, I believe, in the, in the 60s. But before that, it was the NFC, uh, the NFL championship. For example, the Browns won a bunch of NFL championships. I'm pretty sure the Bills won. The NFL championship and maybe even a, I think the Lions won the NFL championship as well, but they have not won the Super Bowl. 
right? So the Lions are trying to go to the Super Bowl. They have never been. Uh, the Vikings have been and lost. The Bills have been and lost. The Packers have been there. I don't know how many times, right? They won. Uh, you think of Vince Lombardi, who's on the trophy, right? Vince Lombardi. And I remember when I was a kid, uh, the 97 Super Bowl, Desmond Howard won the MVP. Brett Favre was on that team. Antonio Freeman, uh, I think Dorsey Levins and Edgar Bennett might have been on that team. Uh, Patriots, they had beat the Patriots in New Orleans. And then, of course, uh, Jacoby Jones was a driving force behind the Ravens winning that Super Bowl in New Orleans. I believe that was their last Super Bowl as well. So uh, two teams that have already won in New Orleans, the Packers and the Ravens. So uh, that's a potential matchup that could happen. Uh, but also three P three P in my Wayne voice. Uh, could Patrick Mahomes three P in New Orleans? Uh, that would signify a dynasty, right? A dynasty is typically when you win three times at least. Uh, we I don't believe it's been done in the NFL, but you know Pat Mahomes is somebody who could do it. They've been winning games, a couple of these games really close. They've been winning by, a, a, you know, less than a, a, a touchdown or a score. I think they just beat the Raiders by only a couple points. They kind of fell apart towards the end of the game. But, you know, a win is a win, right? Doesn't matter how you win as long as you win. Uh, uh, well, I guess it does matter how you win, right? But they'll take them, right? They'll take them. They want people to travel to Arrowhead through the playoffs, come see them. They want to host every game. They want the bye week, right? Same thing with the Lions. The Lions want to play at home in the Dome. You know, that suits them. Uh, so we haven't really seen, besides the uh, the Browns game, uh, the Browns play the Steelers, right? Jameis, Jameis Winston played the Steelers, I believe, in that crazy snow game. So we haven't really seen the elements come into play yet. The Vikings play in the Dome. The Lions play in the Dome. Everybody else plays outside. Chiefs, Eagles, Ravens, Steelers, Bills. So, you know, um, I've been enjoying this football season. I picked uh, Jameer Gibbs number one in fantasy. I also have Lamar Jackson on my fantasy team. So, you know, I know Jameer Gibbs is a monster. I really think that uh, I like that they're preserving him with Montgomery, with Montgomery, but you know, it kind of reminds me of Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram, right? That we said the same thing. Oh, you know, they're letting uh, Ing they're letting uh, Ingram run it because Kamara, you know, they're trying to preserve him. They're trying to, you know, make sure they don't run him into the ground and all of this. But the reality is, is that he's just the much better back. I like Montgomery though. I mean, Montgomery is a elite back no matter what team he's on. He just happens to be on a team with one of the most explosive players, if not the most explosive running back in the league you know saquon by by the way did i mention saquon barkley derrick derrick henry them two dudes right there might even be an mvp contention uh barkley been going crazy 255 some yards on the ground couple three td games two td games same thing with henry henry been tearing it up so that's a matchup i would love to see in the super bowl Jalen Hurts versus Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry versus Saquon Barkley. That would be a phenomenal matchup. Uh, Josh Jacobs been doing his thing with Green Bay. Uh, Green Bay got a lot of, they just got a lot of weapons. They got a lot of young weapons between uh, Reed, Kraft, uh, Wicks, uh, Romeo Dobbs. They got a, um, they don't have like one of them flashy, flashy number one receivers, but they got a bunch of good receivers, right? And um, Reed is 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 a monster for sure. George Pickens a monster. Uh, who else? Travis Kelsey may have lost a few steps. I do give the Chiefs credit though. They have not played most of this season with uh, Hollywood Brown, who's the next factor, and they have not uh, had Rasheed Rice. Uh, or they have not had rice for a minute. So uh, they doing their thing, man. So let me know who y'all think is going to Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. And Kendrick Lamar performing at halftime. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like. Champ side. Peace.